Hi, I'm Michael Caputo, and this is my boat, the motor vessel Maribel. I guess this is my experiment in 21st century divorced living. Named for my daughter, the Maribel is a 40-foot tug trawler built by Gossard Yachts in 1984. I restored and upgraded this boat to enjoy living and working on the water while having a relatively low environmental impact. I started out by rescuing a 24-year-old boat that had been sitting in a dry dock for years. This saved the tens of thousands of gallons of petroleum and petroleum products needed to build a new large fiberglass hull. The Maribel is designed to look like a 1930s river tug with windows all around for maximum ventilation. Most modern yachts this size are designed with few opening windows, so owners are constantly running their AC which is powered by a diesel or gas-guzzling carbon-belching generator. Of course, I have a 7.5 kilowatt generator, but I rarely ever use it. Then I had the boat refitted with a custom high-efficiency refrigerator-freezer system that runs off the batteries. The compartments open from the top, so very little cold air escapes when they're open. There is as much space as a small home refrigerator and the compressors are run by fridge boat variable speed controllers. This is the latest technology and uses very little electricity to keep things cold. But I guess I'm proudest of the four 130 watt solar panels installed on the top deck. With this solar system, I am able to capture the energy of the sun and store it in a bank of eight deep cycle batteries. Hooked up to the batteries is a 3000 watt inverter which converts the DC solar power to the same alternating current you get from your 110 plug at home. This system is so efficient that nowadays the only time I fire up the generator is to make sure that it still works. I don't care where you get your information, what blog you read, everybody pretty much agrees that the first step toward living a greener life is cutting back on your energy usage. Here in America, we use two to three times more energy per capita than any country in Europe. But here on the Maribel, it's extremely important that every time we walk by this, the nerve center of, uh, uh, of, the, of the boat, that we turn off things that we're not using, like here I have the uh, running lights on. Uh, at the end of the day, it's not a choice on a boat. It's a necessity, but here where we're trying to uh, run totally on solar when we're, when we're at anchor. Uh, we only have so much battery power, so the less you use, the longer you'll be able to listen to music or do whatever you need. With this setup, I can live and work on the hook as long as I keep conserving and the sun keeps shining. And that's pretty much forever here in South Florida. Another challenge is ice. Freezing water eats up energy and there's no ice maker as efficient as my new freezer. That's how we do it in America, with a lot of ice. For now, I'm still getting my ice at the store. And for us, that's just fine. And no account of the Mirabel would be complete without mentioning the new holding tank system, which stores our solid waste until it can be pumped out into the municipal sewer system. Unfortunately, I have no control over what happens to it after I pump out. Sometimes it really doesn't make sense to be so careful about marine sewage when Miami-Dade County just turns around and pumps it right out to the Atlantic Ocean anyway. Greening up the Mirabel cost me plenty of green, more than most boaters could or would afford. Frankly, I don't recommend the expense, but I live aboard and work here all day long, so for me this was a lifestyle decision. I'm looking for more ways to cut back my carbon footprint on the Maribel, including converting her to biodiesel fuel. That conversion doesn't cost much, but until marine biodiesel is more widely available, it doesn't make much sense. According to the experts, more solar energy falls to the earth in one day than all of us on the entire planet could ever use in 27 years. Here on Maribel, we're just grabbing a little bit of it and putting it to good use. For Reasonable Shade of Green, I'm Michael Caputo. Going back.